Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a haul of all things that I have been buying recently. So as you may have seen I went to Birmingham with my friend Kerry who is also a YouTuber. Um, we went to Birmingham because she lives in Newcastle, I live in Wiltshire, it's kind of halfway. So some of these bits are from there and also some are just some random bits that I picked up in the last couple of weeks or so so I thought I would share them all with you. So there's a range of homeware, clothing, etc. So the first thing I thought I would show you is actually what I'm wearing because this is new. So I've got this bodysuit which you can see it's just the standard Zara bodysuit that everyone goes on about. It's like the racer kind of neck. It's really nice material, it's double layered so it's not see through at all. And this was $14.99 like I said from Zara, it's just this really nice material. I also got this shacket. Now I was on the hunt for a nice shacket because you know they're very popular and so I wanted, I actually wanted to find one in Primark but they didn't have, we couldn't find any and we went to obviously Birmingham and I think it's the biggest Primark, I want to say in the world but I'm not sure, but they didn't have any shackets, so I was very disappointed but I managed to find this one which was in TK Maxx, so this was 24 99 it's really nice, as you can see it's like a grey check material so they had it the other way around as well so it was like a darker background and then white stripes but I preferred the lighter one and then I could just put this white bodysuit underneath so really really liked that so let's start with Primark stuff so first thing is I have these boots now these obviously there's a pair <laughs> but I'll just show you one because it's easier to lift up so these are like the, I've seen like Molly May and that wear them from like PLT. Um, so these are like high leg I suppose, high ankle, I don't really know how you would describe them. Uh, boots, I wore these today actually. And they've got like a chunky sole on them and they're just really nice, they look really nice. I think they probably need a bit of wearing in because the leather here obviously it's not it's not real leather but it needs like wearing in to make it a little bit softer so I think wearing them in will do them a world of good but they look really nice and I feel like they're going to be such an autumn staple and I feel like loads of people are going to get these because loads of different places are selling them but they're a lot quite a lot more expensive whereas these were 20 pounds and you could get them in cream with like black detailing so around like here was all black but I thought if I went for the black I'd probably wear them more. So yeah, really happy with those and like I said they are £20. The only other clothing item I got from Primark was this denim, black denim shirt. So you could wear it, if I just show you, so I don't know if you can see on the back but it's kind of like, can you see that? I'm not sure. It's kind of like fitted at the back, so you could wear it just how I'm wearing this, like over a top, but I probably would wear it just done up. It's got these buttons. I've got a very a, a similar jacket actually, denim jacket from Primark, but it's a similar kind of fabric, obviously, because it's denim, and the buttons and stuff are the same. But this is just really nice. It's quite long as well, so you could wear it. When I tried it on, I tried it on with this and then I had leather leggings on and it would look nice with those boots as well. Really just like a nice all black outfit but it's really nice. I got this in a size 8 and this was £15. So the other bits I got from Primark, like I said, I only got a few clothing bits but the other thing I got was this throw. Now, ow! <laughs> whacked myself in the face now as you may have known as you may know if you've watched my previous videos we have recently moved I say recently like two months ago so I just buy homeware stuff all the time I feel like I can justify spending money if it's on the house for some reason rather than on myself I'm just gonna turn you down a bit it's a bit better I don't look so shiny now um so like I say, I've got this throw. Now this is a chunky knit throw. It was £24, as you can see. It came in this nice, like, big, I don't know, container, carrier thing, which is easy to carry. If I just show you, so it's this, 
chunky knit cream coloured throw. It feels really nice and soft. It feels really nice quality. I was really shocked actually that they had something like this in there. Um, so I'm going to put it on the other arm of our sofa. So on, on one arm of our sofa we have a green throw. Our colour scheme is green which you'll see later in the haul because I've got some other bits. Um, but I thought I'd put this on the other other arm of the throw, um, other arm of the sofa because we've af been after another throw, and I know that Jason in particular likes these kind of throws, the chunky knit ones, and they can be quite expensive everywhere else. So we thought twenty four pound for this kind of throw was a really good price. So I can't wait to put that on the sofa. I've been waiting to do this haul until I do that. Next couple of bits. So I've got. Don't tell me it's too early. But I picked up these candles. So these are like little tea lights um so they are christmas trees i don't know how well you can see that you probably just heard my air freshener go off in the background as well they are little christmas trees and i just thought little novelty tea lights like what more could you want um they were one pound fifty and i just think things like this sell out really fast so i thought i'd grab them just go with it probably won't like them just a novelty thing, but there we go. Talking of novelty things, I bought these. Two little pumpkins. Now, I, I'm not one to decorate for Halloween, if I'm honest, but I thought these little pumpkins were quite cute. They were quite autumnal. They're not focusing. So as you can see, they're like a very, very light gray, which is kind of the colors of our walls within the house. So I bought these to go on our fireplace. Now this is gonna be a key theme to this haul and just to life I am obsessed with having a fireplace now and being able to decorate it dress it I don't know what the correct term is uh, for all the different seasons so I bought two of these little pumpkins they're only tiny little ones I just really like the detail in them as well and obviously the color the, the really light grey I just thought they were really nice and cute they were two pound fifty each so they are on, currently on my fireplace. Um, obviously not right now because I'm holding them, but I have had them on my fireplace. I then got, like I said, I have changed our colour scheme downstairs. Um, so when we lived in our old house, we had navy blue. And then when we were moving here, I decided to change it to like a dark emerald green. Although, yeah, so it's like dark emerald green and green. Just green basically is the colour scheme so I picked up this tray from Primark I have already had this out which is why it's not got the label on it um but this was actually in the bathroom section in Primark I'm not quite sure why but it's this kind of marbly green colour as you can see matches my nails but it's like this marbly green effect so it just sits we've got it on our coffee table so it just sits like this this was six pounds I believe um from Primark they didn't have any bigger ones or smaller ones it was literally just this and it was only these ones like there wasn't I didn't see any other colors or anything just the green so I really like that and to go with it I bought this egg timer now egg timer seems to be like such a big thing at the moment I know my sister-in-law has one and I really like it so I saw this one and it's black you can see my ring light reflecting off of it. But it's black, a little black egg timer with obviously the black sand, but this bit's like a black frosted glass, I guess, whereas the other one is kind of clear. And then you just tip it up to do the sand, obviously. Um, but the idea is, is that we have our tray like this, and then we have the egg timer, sand timer, whatever, when you, whatever you wanna call it, in there. And then I also have a candle in here as well on our coffee table and I really like how that looks I really like just really like both of them together I think the colors work well and yeah I think this one was also six pounds apologies I've taken the tag off it because like I said I couldn't wait to put it out so those were from Primark but I think they're so nice like such nice quality as well for Primark you wouldn't be able to tell so that is everything I got in Birmingham um moving on to other bits and bobs so I bought this today actually. Um, we went up to Cribs Causeway today, which isn't too far from us, and bought this clock to go on our fireplace. So this is just a mantle clock, as you can see, it's currently eight o'clock whilst I'm filming this. Um, we bought this clock, it's just a black 
mantle clock to go on our mantelpiece. I really like this. It was really hard to try and find a mantle clock um, because of the space. We didn't want anything too big, but we also didn't want anything too small. So, like I said, I got this from John Lewis. It's a Newgate one. I'm not sure. I've not really heard of the brand before. And this was £35. So, really, really pleased with that one. Now, don't hate me, but I'm going to bring up Christmas again. So, I went to Matalan the other day and I'd heard that they put their Christmas stuff up. Now normally I am somebody that's like nope not looking at it until at least November probably more December for Christmas stuff but this year I don't know what's happened to me. All I want to do is look at Christmas stuff. So I went to Matalan the other day because I had a voucher that is why I told Jason we were going because I had a voucher. He didn't realise we were going to look at Christmas stuff but I bought quite a lot. Okay so let's get started. So first thing I got some nice potpourri is that how you say it pop pop i think it's potpourri and it's got this green in it like i said our color scheme downstairs is green i just need to find a nice bowl or vase or whatever you do with this but i thought it looked quite nice smells quite nice very christmasy this was five pounds like i said all of this is from matalan then got this which is like a they call it a star Christmas plant. I don't know how well that's going to focus. But it's in this silver star pot. And then it's got all of these different bits on it. So it's got like the pine cones, etc. I really like this. Guess where it's going? On the fireplace. So I'm going to put it in the, in like in front of the fire on there and I think that will look really nice. It just looks quite cute, looks festive, not too festive, just really like the, I thought we'd go with our colour scheme as well because it's kind of like those greens kind of colour. I just thought it would look really nice in there and that was £14. I then got two cushions. I don't need any more cushions. I don't need any more cushions in general. I have actually also got some Christmas cushions already. I don't know if Jason knows that or not. But I got this cushion, which is a long cushion, which has got the gonks, the gonks, some gonks on it. I don't know how well that's gonna focus. But I thought this was just really cute, very festive. This was 10 pound, really like that. I then got this other cushion, which has this penguin on it and its jumper is kind of bluey green kind of color. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that. And then on the back it's nice and fluffy so it feels really nice. This was also £10. Then I got two of these little gonks which are going to go on the fireplace. And they basically just, I don't know, why can't I hold this properly? Like this. So they'll sit like this on the fireplace. I've got two of these, hold on, find the other one. Here is the other one. So they do these in red and they also do them in grey, but our colour scheme is going to be red for the Christmas tree, so I thought that would tie in quite nicely. Oh, this is very hard to hold. Like this. So they're set on the fireplace, <laughs> so I thought these were quite cute. And they were £4 each, so I thought they were really cute. I don't know how well you can see him. There you go. They're quite cute and they've got like the dangly legs. Oh, that's backwards. They've got like the dangly legs. Then I got these. They're kind of tacky, I guess, but kind of cute. Candy cane little baubles. They were four pounds. You get six of them. I thought they were quite cute. I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna go red and white. I think this year. Um, so that's what I got on those. I then picked up these two baubles. So they have got. They're exactly the same. But I've got two of them. They've just got holly on them. I thought they were really nice, and I really like big baubles. So. I picked up two of those and they were three pound each and then finally last but not least picked up two more baubles but these light up I can't I can't show you or does this one work oh there you go so they light up they're like white on the outside that kind of looks snowy and then inside it's got a little candle I thought it was really cute they're baubles again like I said so they'll go on the tree but they light up inside I thought that was a really cute little idea. I thought they were really nice. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this because my ring light's like reflecting off of it. 
but I thought they were really cute and I got two of those and they were four pounds each. So I'd highly recommend Matalan if you wanna get any Christmas stuff. So that is everything I got. I hope you enjoy these more like homeware hauls. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make sure I continue doing them. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram. Both of my handles are in the description and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.